Oh. Come on, keep him, keep him, keep him, keep him. About to lose him. Oh, man. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm glad I didn't lose him. <laughs> oh, man. Man, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm trying to find that old pound in the quarter. We're going we think we found him. Finally. Yeah, I think I found him. <laughs> okay. Oh, there he goes. I don't want to lose another one. Oh man. Oh, he's man. He's a fighter. <laughs> I, can, I got you though. Another good one. He's all crappy. He's all crappy or fine. Hope I get him in. Oh yeah. Well, my line's got all tangled, but that's all right. Wow. Yep. <laughs> my line's dragging there. He got tangled up when I took off. Wow, that's a good one. Well, hey guys, we're back. We're gonna do a little more crappie fishing today. And uh, we did really well in here last time again. I don't know how many times I've been in here and slayed them black crappie, but we're going after them again. It's old black water guys. These old black crappie like it. It's actually pretty clear. You can see like 17 inches down. You can see your lure really deep. So the fish are, are kind of spooky. You can't just go over there to the tree and jig them with the 12, 14 foot pole. They can see you. So you got to cast to them. That's one reason I do this casting stuff. But I, I've gotten the habit of it now. I love it. I love riding reeling for these crappie. It's just fun. I beetle spin and I use the jigging bobber. And uh, we're just going to give them another try and see if we can catch some good ones. Let's go see what we can do. Well, guys, here's the lure we're using today. This is by Sam. Sam's a young man that subscribed to the channel. He loves fishing. And uh, he made these lures here. Mr. James probably is showing him how because they're, they're built really good i like them a lot it's got some uh, little flash in there with some hair jig tail he's got that uh chartreuse green uh body there and it's got gold purple and blue flakes in it and it's got a white head and that's about a size two hook right there and it's sharp <laughs> looks like a 16th ounce jig guys and then what i do is use these rubber bobber stoppers and i pin my cork on each side this is a Northern Light Bite balsa wood cork. It's kind of beat up, but they're really good crappie corks. They got a brass insert on top of them. And uh, this is a 7 8 oval, if you want to uh, look for them. I'm having to buy them online. I have trouble finding them in my area. But I put a link down below the video, an Amazon link, if you want to check them out. You can study them up or pick you one up or whatever you want to do. But they're really good. I like the 7 8 It's a kind of light. It don't make as bad of a splash. But it does make a little splash enough to draw some attention. For catching them crappie. But anyway guys, when I cast this out there, I like to show people what it's doing. I do a pull, stop, and pause method. So the jig's sitting in the water column like that. And when I pull on this cork, it lifts that jig up. And then it flutters back down. It's pull, stop, and pause. Pull, stop, and pause. But anyway, guys, I'll show you that right quick, just right here, why it's calm. It's windy day to day, but the wind's off and on. But I'll just cast it out there and leave it for five Mississippis. And then I'll just pull, stop, and pause. Pull, stop, and pause. And then if you can wait four or five seconds again, pull, stop, and pause. It is a breezy one out here, guys. But... We're hoping to catch a good mess. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just fishing a little bit before dark. So it might, we, it's supposed to have been raining all day long and it is breezy. <laughs> but it was supposed to be raining all day long and it was spitting and sputtering and I could have been out here catching fish. But I was taking their, their 50 to 60 and 70% chances of rain in account and I shouldn't have because it didn't do nothing just spitting and sputtering a little bit so now it's supposed to clear up and get out of here so 
I finally come out here. But I could have been here early. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, come on in here. Oh, it's a good one. Oh man, he is a good one. I gotta get my net ready. <laughs> oh man, now that's a good first crappie. <laughs> wow. Man, that thing is beautiful. That's why I keep coming back to this place, guys. This thing, they got some beautiful fish. Man, look at that. Thick old, thick old black crappie. Mm-hmm. He is almost 13 and a half. That's a good one. That's a good one. We'll give him a little weight. He's got to be a pound and a quarter. Yeah, we'll give him a little weight. He's a, he's a pretty good one. Zero to scale. There we go. 121 he's a pretty good one <laughs> almost a pound and a quarter we'll take him let's see back in there oh yeah that's a good spot that's pretty deep deeper than i was thinking <laughs> that's a pretty crappie that old rain's coming i'll have to put my umbrella up oh yeah let's see what we got here almost here's almost 12 and a half uh oh here comes the rain i gotta put the umbrella up now <laughs> come on get it up get it up Woo! Catch a crappie and then it pours down. <laughs> Come on now. Calm down, Rain. See if we're done. I'll put the umbrella back up again and see if it'll calm down. <laughs> I'm surprised there's anything biting right now. It's kind of crazy the way the weather's doing. Shower and sun. Shower and sun. Wind come this way, then the wind blows this way. <laughs> it, we're, we're catching the tail end of the storm that we barely missed today. And uh, we were supposed to get rain all day, so I didn't come out here. And here we are, and it starts raining on me. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, never know what you're going to get. Oh. I'm on in here. Wow, he's a good fighter. Man. Whoa. He's a good one. <laughs> That's a good crappie. Oh, get off that tree right quick. Man. Sam, they are loving this jig. The big boys. Oh, yeah, another 12 and a half -er. We have one and a half. Nice thick crappie. We'll take it. See what we got over there. We are looking for another big one. That rain kind of messed them up. I caught like three good ones and then it just kind of, they just kind of tampered down. I thought after the front one be good, went through, we'd be good. Oh. Come on, keep him, keep him, keep him, keep him. About to lose him. Oh, man. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm glad I didn't lose him. <laughs> oh, man. Man, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm trying to find that old pound in the quarter. We're going we think we found him. Finally. Yeah, I think I found him. <laughs> Let's see how long. Oh, 
of right here. He don't get me all confused. Mm-hmm. He's a good 13. Look at that, man. Rinse him off a little bit. That's a pretty crappie right there. Thick boy. He got to weigh a pound and a quarter. I think so, anyhow. Let's see. This is a brand new scale. So I'm, I hadn't checked it yet with against anything, but I think it's accurate. Okay. There's, oh, that was too quick. Hang on. All right. There we go. Oop. That thing is quick at setting the lock on it. There you go. There we go. 126. Here's a fine looking crappie. I know that. We got that pound and a quarter finally. A nice one. Yes, sir. We'll take it. Man. All right. Let's see what we can find now. Yeah. We want another one. Another big boy. Looks, I mean, that cove looks good, but whether they're in, oh, there he goes. I was gonna say, I couldn't tell if they was in the deep. Wow, he's another good fighter. Man, <gasps> oh, that hurt. He beat me. That was a big one, boy. <laughs> he's, he's always bigger when you lose him, I guarantee you. That was a good one though. I can tell you that. He was a good one. Crappie. You ever catch him in one spot? Keep trying that spot. There may be a long time before you catch another one, but they like that spot. They'll be back sooner or later. Okay. Oh, there he goes. I don't want to lose another one. Oh man. Oh, he's man. He's a fighter. <laughs> I got you though. Another good one. Man, he's old crappie. He's old crappie are fine. Oh. Hmm. Flashed me everywhere. Alright, we a little a little over tw twelve and a quarter. Another good one guys. Yes sir. Well take it. Black water on the bottom guys. It's Tupelo and Cypress. But the Tupelo gets on there and it gives it that blackish look. But this water is you can see about 17 inches deep. You can see your lure down through there. So when you're in shallows, them fish can see all the way across that thing. They can, you know, because of the light. When you're looking down, it's a little darker. But when you look sideways, they can see a long ways. They can see me in this boat. They can see that lure from a long distance away. So they can tell if they, they want to mess with it or not. Okay, right there. Should be close to it right there. I'm close to a snag. Ain't no doubt. But if you're close to the snag, you're probably close to the crappie. Wake him up over there. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Hope I get him in. Well, my line's got all tangled, but that's all right. Wow. <sighs> yep. Gee, my line's dragging there. It got tangled up when I took off. Wow, that's a good one. Man. 
Look at that. Another 13. He's over 13. Some pretty crappie in here, guys. I love it. Mm-hmm. We're taking it. That looks like a good spot. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get him in. <laughs> I about didn't get him because I had my head turned looking at something else. Looks like a keeper. There we go. Maybe a keeper. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's a little over 11. That's a good one, we'll take him. Perfect, perfect size. Let's see, good looking log right there. That's a, that's a little bitty guy. No, he ain't no. He ain't as small, quite as small as I thought he was. He is a small one though. Oh. He's small compared to what we're catching. <laughs> he, might, he might be a tenner. Well, look at there. We are over 10. Pretty good one. We'll take him. Let's see what we got right there. There he goes. Awesome. I think he's a little guy. No, he's a little bass. <laughs> a little bitty bass. Easy. Easy there, guy. Later. I can't really get over there like I want to. There we go. There. Now, there should be something in that little area. Uh -huh. Maybe. Oh, oh. Well, he might be in a little shot. There he is. Oh, that's a little bass. Well, I, I was looking for a crappie. That's a pretty little bass. Dark colored. In, they got dark colors on them just like the crappie do. They're real pretty fish in here. Later.